it's time for another episode of books about the Bible that aren't the Bible, or whatever I called this. But this is the second video in the installment, and this is like my new favorite. Um, I, I just got done with like a solid 45 minute session with this book, doing some sermon preparation. I'm Chad Brooks, I make videos about the Bible, about spiritual life, and about the everyday life of a pastor. If you've been watching The Bible is Metal, that's the podcast and YouTube show I do with my friend Graham Burks, where we're walking through the book of Judges. We talk a lot about Chad's nerdy book of Bible maps, and this is it, my nerdy book of Bible maps. But I've got to tell you, this thing is awesome. If you don't have a Bible atlas, this is a cheaper option. But I highly recommend you going and getting a good Bible atlas. I was in Israel a few years ago, and it was beautiful. It was amazing. I loved it. But one of the things that our guide, who's a super cool dude named Walid, said was that the geography of Israel is the fifth gospel, that the land is the fifth gospel. And, and I heard him say that when we got there, and I read it in the pamphlet, that sort of thing. And I was like, okay, it's a cool phrase, but no, nah, not really, bro. Y'all, the, the land, the, the terrain, the geography, the whole nine yards, it really is. And if you want to understand the Bible, especially if you're reading like Old Testament stuff and that sort of things, get a good Bible atlas. It helps you understand the stories so much of different things. And why I like this one, this is the Holman Bible Atlas. I guess this is the non-Amazon price is $29.99. That means Amazon, this thing's probably 20 bucks. Um, is that it's not just Bible maps, uh, but there's text and it goes Genesis through Revelation. So you don't have to know all these weird place names. It goes alongside of your Bible in the same like book order your Bible's in. But the maps are also really cool in the fact that they show topography in an easy to understand way because topography is a huge part of uh, the biblical story as well. And so there's solid, there's, there's solid uh, like charts in this. There's really good pictures as well of what stuff looks like. But if you're looking for a really easy and inexpensive way to understand your Bible more and, what, and reading it more, as I said, especially the more narrative sections, but honestly, like Psalms and stuff, the way it talks about things in there, I would recommend this. Pick up the, the Holman Bible Atlas. There'll be a link to it in the description down below, and that's an affiliate link, but you know those affiliate purchases just get reinvested back here in that channel. I'm trying to save up for a new camera right now, and it's really expensive. It's gonna take a lot. You're gonna have to buy like 500 million of these things for me to get this new camera I want. But anyway, that's to say, um, pick one of these up. Uh, I highly recommend uh, this. It's going to uh, really help out your, your Bible reading. And it's, it's small enough you can just kind of keep it there. And if you have a question, hey, let me pull out my nerdy Bible map book like Chad has, and you can do that. So if you like content like this, do me a favor. Let me know down in the, in the comments. Say, hey, Chad, more nerdy books about the Bible that aren't the Bible. Um, I love to make these kind of things. I mean, I've got these things laying all over my office, uh, books like this. So, so do me a favor, just uh, like, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the comment or the bell, or what, you know, all the things that YouTubers say. But I'm Chad, and until next time, I will hang out with you in the comments.